Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am sharing with you baby Kit. Um, she is 98% <laughs> um, ready to go. Um, and I just wanted to share her in just a diaper because I always think that's important when you are, you know, having a baby up for sale and it's silicone and it's a full body. So, um, so this is just a quick video. I'm about to put her on some clothes for more pictures in a different outfit, just so you guys can get an idea of how she, uh, will fit her little clothes. But, um, so she's basically have laid on her hair, on her hair all night. So she does have like probably like bed hair right now. Um, it is 100% dry, um, which I prefer it when it's dry because it's, when it's wet, it tends to make it look l less fuller. Um, so for one, I just also, for those that may not have seen all the tons of videos of me doing the squishy tummy and squeeze and all that jazz, um, you guys may not have seen, but she has the jelly belly, which is not just a regular soft belly. It is like super soft, like, like mm, marshmallowy soft. Yeah, we got a little fuzzy on you. Here we go. Um, so, and these are her feet, her little piggies, and she has nice size feet. Again, like I said, that's the one thing I, you know, like and appreciate about babies. Um, she's a detailed, her little girl bits are detailed and, and realistic. I just can't show them to you on camera. Um, she does have, you know, veining and she's modeled. Um, she's, she's a soft baby and she has an open mouth and pupil toes. Um, I have been putting her on like sh this outfit. I thought, oh my God, this outfit might be too big for her. Funny thing is I have a preemie outfit that is bigger than this newborn outfit. And I thought she might not be able to fit that preemie. Don't even look preemie. I should have brought it so I could show you guys. But I tried both of them on her just to see, make sure she could fit them. And she can fit the newborn and the preemie. But like I said, the preemie outfit is actually bigger than the newborn, which is weird. Um, but so she she can fit that. So she I'm going to put her on that and um, play around with it. Um, so what I was going to say. So she does have closed fists, but they are not like tight closed fist this hand is a little bit more open but you know together and kind of fisted um all right and this is she is super soft i hate to do that <laughs> but you yeah, know she is, yeah, she's, she's super soft on top of the squishy belly. Um, again, she has bad hair, <laughs> so don't judge her, but so I just wanted to be able to show her on her back. That's her on her back. A little tushy. <laughs> little feet. Okay. So. She has nice ears too. And I like the way the coloring turned out on her ears too. But she, as you can see, she wrinkles. She's wrinkling without me wrinkling her. 
All right. See, I am. I have messy hair and I don't care. I actually didn't intend to style her hair um, like in a curly look, but I've just been playing around to see which ways I like it best because it will lay down um, more in a more straight or wavy look, a very... A more newborn -y look if you want to but um, I thought the curly look was cute too so I just said I'd give it a try um, because she's soft you can you know squish her up and of course every time you move her that little belly just poof poof is that like um, or you can leave her legs straight but those are her little feet and her no her nails her toenails are tipped so that's all I have for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get her dressed before my battery goes dead. And let's see. We can turn her around this way. And as you can see, like I said, I, her little ear color. So cute. <laughs> I'm really proud of her, to be honest. I, let me see if I take you off the camera. I mean, off the stand, not off the camera, but I think I'm blocking the light. Those are her little ears. I just I just like the way she came together um, as you guys know with silicone it is very tricky very finic finicky medium to work with um, they're not like vinyl babies um, and vinyl babies aren't necessarily completely easy either but silicone is definitely a lot more challenging and you might have a little, you know, nuances here and there because they are hand painted and handmade, hand sculpted, hand poured. So everything about this baby is special in my opinion when you're dealing with these, this type of dolls that we collect because they're all like handmade and I, I, I just think it's just really special. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna finish up whatever final little touches. I'll finish them up by the weekend for sure. Um, I just couldn't resist getting her some photos out there because I've been talking about this baby for a while, and I was really excited about her because at one point I didn't know if I had if I was gonna ruin her or I said either she's gonna come out really good. Or really bad so um, and then at one point I was like oh maybe she'll just fall in between so anyway I'll let you guys judge on that I um, like to stay humble and just go with the flow but I do appreciate everybody love and support and I hope you guys share her with your friends and she will be looking for a new mommy and I'm trying not to sound so sad about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. But <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so there's that. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.